Okay, welcome to brand new Gospel Cast, and this is the weekend edition. Uh, we're gonna run down on some of the things we've done from Monday to Friday, and um, uh, we're gonna tag it up with something very, very special on today. My name is Star. I'll be glad to be your host on today. Gospel Cast continues right after this. <music> Okay, let's get it started. On Monday, we started off with redefining your expectation because a lot of people got to understand that you cannot put your expectation on things that fail, you know, things that are uncertain, like human being, like things, a connection, who you know. You got to put your expectation from God because it is the expectation from God that God we honor. We did that on Monday on Tuesday. Wednesday, we talked about never dwell in the past. Uh, it's important you understand that you cannot move into your greatness. You cannot move forward being tied to what is happening. You see, God is always in the movement is not a monument uh, you have to understand this and apply it when you're working with god on daily basis and Thursday we talked about do it daily and this one is important that there has to be a part of greatness there has to be a part of your greatness that you practice daily something that will bring you to your greatness you must have flair you must have the passion and you got to learn to practice it daily uh, for you to move into that next step and then Friday we talked about the three S of speaking your greatness the three S of speaking your greatness we talked about that when you come into the presence of God you should declare about the great things that God has said about you about the things that God have promised you the expectation you have about God. You speak about your greatness in the presence of God because God say, whatever I hear you say in my presence, I'm going to do that. And we talk about the next one is speaking to your soul. We saw that so much in the book of Sam and the psalmist was speaking to his soul. He went through a whole of horrid time and, and challenges uh, still believing and expecting that God promised to make him a king and make him great. But he, he had to speak to his soul every now and then to be able to get to that place and then we talked about speaking to the atmosphere you got to create the atmosphere it's not enough to have the expectation you got to speak into the atmosphere speak to things speak around where people will hear you and why is it important because god wants these people and things to become witnesses of the great thing he will do in your life so you got to speak it out you got to say it and when it happens people would know and glorify god for you today we're going to uh the end of the season one and we're going to be ending with something so important today i call it everyday preparation everyday preparation is so critical we're going to go to the book of chronicles first chronicles chapter 22 and we're going to read from the book uh, from verse number five david said my son solomon we're reading from the niv version of the bible translation of the bible David said, My son Solomon is young and inexperienced, and the house to be built for the Lord should be of great magnificence. Great magnificence. Now, mark that word. The house to be built for the Lord should be of great magnificence and fame and splendor in the sight of all nations. Now, look at this word. Mark this. Now, therefore, I will make preparation for it. So, David made extensive preparation before his death. And, you know, some of us talk about the wisdom of Solomon, <laughs> talk about how great the temple was. I mean, it was a hallmark of the life of Solomon that he built a magnificent temple. But you're going to look at this place that the, the expectation was on, on David and it just didn't end there. He started preparing about it. The Bible says he did an extensive preparation. So now every day that God gives you is opportunity to prepare. There is an expectation that David had that came from God about building God a temple, about honoring God. And then God was excited about it. He said, your son will build that. You know, some of us could have, okay, if this is not going to happen in my lifetime, there is no need. But you understand that when God is calling us into our next level, he's not just calling us to our next level because of us. He's calling us into a next level, not just because of us, uh, but because of a whole lot of people who are connected to us, even uh, children. There are people that will have to stand on our shoulders uh, to, to, to become great. So God is calling you to go into preparation. Today is a day to prepare. You got to do something about your greatness, your great expectation. You got to put something together. You got to practice a skill. You're going you're gonna to gather something. You're going to make some saving. You're going to make some investment. You got to do something today practically about your great expectation and the vision and the thoughts and the great things that God has put in your heart. And when you begin to make every day a preparation, when you, before you know it, you just move into your greatness and it will be magnificent in the eyes of all nations. God bless you. We'll see you next week.